This is a memory press baby book. I want to add a photo to this baby book right here on the right left hand side on page zero. In order to add a photo page, I need to go over to custom pages. I click on custom manage custom pages. And immediately my book begins loading all of the pages in this in this book. That's what it's loading right now. But over here on the right, you can see that there's photo pages of all different shapes and sizes. You can see there you can go all different types of photo photo page designs. And as it's loading, we, we wait for a second, it will load. There it goes. All right, it just loaded the entire book. That's why it takes a little bit. Um, you can see page zero, page one, page two, and you can see where the photo pages are. And you can see the photos look a little distorted, but that doesn't mean anything. And the text is also a little distorted, but this, is, this isn't your actual book. It's just kind of how it's laid out. But I'm gonna go back up to the beginning and I'm going to add a full bleed photo page to page zero. Drop in the full bleed pa photo page, and I can go down further, and I can edit and drag pretty much any photo page I want, but I only want to add a full bleed to page zero. I'm going to click save. Now it's typesetting the book, and it will bring up a photo page, and I'm going to add a photo to this photo page. You can see there, there's a full bleed photo page. I open my photo album and add a photo. Go down, I'm not on this one, let's let me find the photo I want. That takes just a second. Ah, that looks like a good photo. Okay, I'm gonna drag this photo in. And you can see that I could leave it just like that and that would leave it to where it's full bleed on these sides and then the area where it says photo isn't gonna say photo in your real book, it's gonna have a white blank area. So you can make it like that. We can make it a little bigger and have it be like that. And you, then you have some white area on top on bottom. I could move it up and then you'll have only white on the bottom. But I, I think I want this photo to be very big and fill up the whole page. So it's gonna crop it and there we go. And if I wanted, I could rotate it. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. I think I'll rotate it and then I'm going to actually zoom out, zoom out just a little bit. There's the baby's foot. And there, it's saved. You don't even have to click save. It's saved, and that's how easy it is to add a photo page to Memory Press.